Welcome back to the channel and this week we are driving the new Lexus RX 450H Plus. The ultra-refined Lexus SUV is now a plug-in hybrid. Brought to you by AA Approved Servicing. Book yours at aa.ie forward slash servicing. Lexus gave us the first RX back in 1998 and this is now the fifth generation of the popular SUV. Now it's been popular more so in the United States where this model with more horsepower will cost you about $63,000 or about 58,000 euro. Lovely. Criminally high taxes aside, what we have here I think is a car that is absolutely beautiful. I'd love to know your views. Please do let us know in the comments below. At the front, the new Lexus Next Chapter design language includes this huge grille which seamlessly integrates into the body of the car. There's also a new slimline headlight design and the front track of the car is wider by 20 millimeters. At the side, the first thing you'll notice are these 21 inch 20 spoke alloy wheels which are really beautiful and they come as standard on the RX 450 hybrid. You'll also notice that this car isn't any longer than the previous generation. However, it has a longer wheelbase. It also has a longer bonnet and shorter overhangs. And that has the effect of helping out with the handling, but it also makes the packaging a little bit more clever. As is the trend at the moment, Lexus have forgone a standard Lexus badge and replaced it with this bold Lexus lettering at the rear. We're starting to see that in lots of brand models and you're gonna see it for some time to come, it seems. The charging point to charge this plug-in hybrid RX is just here. Now, there are some plastic elements which Lexus say are there to save weight. It does feel a little bit cheap. However, in terms of charging this, it takes only about two and a half hours on a wall box. And with that, you'll get about up to 65 kilometers on a full charge. At the back, luggage space is very decent in the RX. In fact, you think they might have actually managed a way to wedge in another two seats because it's 612 litres. I really like the fact that it's very square and easy to use. There's a nice rubber boot lining on this as well, which is great if you're going swimming or you have uh, muddy boots or the like as well. And there is a uh, button here, two buttons in fact, that will drop the rear seat. So once you press those, those rear seats will start slowly going into place. It's when you sit inside the cabin of this Lexus or X450 H Plus that the price tag makes, well, just a little bit more sense. The quality of the materials used throughout are first class and they would put many of its German rivals to shame. Let's start it up. And the car will always start in EV mode. And this is capable of up to 65 kilometers on a full charge of that battery, which takes about two and a half hours on a wall box. Now, I haven't tested that fully, but I did test it to some degree in that I drove yesterday from Drogheda to Skerries and back, which is about 48 kilometers. And I still have just about a quarter of the battery percentage left. So that is pretty decent. This 14 inch infotainment system is supposed to be very logical, but for me was a little bit fiddly. It has, uh, lots of menus and in some of the cases if you want to go into the drive modes you have to go through a menu system and that's something you're not really going to do while you're driving however that being said it does have apple carplay android auto and those uh, work wirelessly it's also a wireless charging tray down here which um is works works really really well there's two usb c ports here another usb port underneath and a usb a as well this compartment in the middle is very clever as well it has a double hinge so it can open on either side and there's a little cutout as well for cables to come out of it too when it comes to space in the back i am pretty happy i'm six foot two and a bit of a lump and i'm reasonably comfortable there's plenty of knee room now that seat is back the full way so with the, a, a shorter driver there'll be plenty more knee room two usb-c ports here and a climate control system control however the fan speed is dictated by the person up front, so that is a little bit restrictive. As I said, that headroom isn't quite perfect for me. It is a little bit restricted. However, you can recline the seats in this RX so you can get a much better headroom if you just slide that seat backwards a little bit. So what about the drive of this thing? Well, we would expect it being a Lexus RX to be comfortable, 
and refined. So check and check, both of those things are a given. However, Lexus aimed to make this feel a little bit more sporty and it does feel like those efforts have paid off. We've mentioned before there is our shorter overhangs front and rear, there's a new McPherson suspension setting at the front, new multi-link suspension at the rear and overall the steering feels a little bit more interesting and the car is lighter overall as well, it's about 90 kilograms lighter than the previous version so there's been a bit of effort to change the weight. The front wings for example are now aluminium as opposed to steel. So this adds up to a car which feels pretty urgent, not to 100 kilometers per hour, it takes about six and a half seconds, and it is quite an interesting car to drive. Most buyers of this aren't gonna be overly worried about its sporting capabilities, but it is there if you want it to be. You can change into a sport mode and it, the lights turn red and things get a little bit more interesting, but overall it's, does have that ability to mix between those two modes but for most people it's just going to be about wafting around in luxury but there's less body roll than before it is more poised and it is a better car to drive overall right some conclusions what do we think of the lexus rx 450h plus well look it's a lovely thing it's incredibly refined that interior is first class as a PHEV, it's excellent. It's one of the best ones on the market, without a doubt, because in EV mode, it will do north to 50 kilometers pretty easily. You should get actually a little bit more from that. And as a PHEV, it does go easy on petrol as well. In terms of price, okay, it's expensive, 89,000 euro for this luxury version 97 if you go for the premium which has a few more toys including that lovely mark levinson audio system compare it to something like a bmw x3 m sport phev with 21s and that's 75 thousand euro go with the other end and it's less expensive than a bmw x5 they cost way more than 100 thousand euro now so in conclusion this is a lovely thing i just don't expect to see too many of them but those people who do buy them are a very happy bunch generally and with good reason this is an excellent car